we are doing some experience. We are directly on the equator. So you see here three different bowls. One on the equator, one on the southern hemisphere and one on the northern hemisphere. And we'll pour water in it and you will see on the northern hemisphere the water will turn clockwise. On the equator it goes down perpendicularly without any turning and on the southern hemisphere it will turn counterclockwise. This is caused by the so-called Coriolis force. And you see the Coriolis force is turning in so direction of the clock. It's yes, it's clockwise. So the further leave the equator, the more faster. The further yeah, yeah. the faster it comes with the speed. You know this, if you empty the bus up, you have this thinking in the north hemisphere, it goes in the direction of the clock. We are here five meters away from the equator, so we go over here. So this is the equator here, so the people are taking photos. And here we are directly on the equator. First we go to the southern hemisphere, so now we are in the southern hemisphere. And we put some water here inside. Let us see. So now this should. Okay. Starts turning. Puts a flower in. So it should turn counterclockwise here. So the father lived there quite a bit faster, right? Yes, 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 but we are only five meters away from the equator here. So let's go in the middle and see what happens. So now we see the middle. So this is the equator here, zero degrees latitude, and here is another getting filled up. You put in the separator. Okay, so the separator to have the same conditions as before. Okay. So let's see. The water goes out and no Coriolis force and the flower stands still. <laughs> Quite interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take a look here. This is our demonstrator. What?